Well, now to a developing story out of Colleen. Colleen utility crews are working around the clock to figure out what made the city require a boil water notice, especially when they've never seen something like this before. Six News re reporter Bailey Bates is live in Colleen tonight. And Bailey, what are officials saying? Hey Jasmine, those with the city are saying that the water is going to be fine to use if you're showering or if you're going to be washing the dishes, but they do want Colleen customers to take precaution if they're going to be using it in any form of or consumption. And that's because they still don't know what's causing all of the issues. Colleen's director of public works, Jeffrey Reynolds, along with the water and sewage department, have a new challenge on their hands. We've never seen this happen. Uh, but there's a lot of mitigating factors that could have played a role in this, and we're going to keep going through each one to we figure out what happens so it don't happen in the future. Reversing a boil order notice across the entire city when they don't know how it even got to this point. Now, additional, additional to those daily tests that we pull, we also pull over 120 samples monthly to test the water system to make sure that that water is safe throughout. But Tuesday's reading showed lower chlorine levels than what the Texas Commission of Environmental Quality recommends, triggering the citywide order. We did see there are still residuals of chlorine in the water, but it wasn't at the level of the 0.5 that we're required to maintain. Uh, with that being said, and it was sporadic throughout the system, we, 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 we are tested nine locations. Of those nine, uh, six came back with levels below uh, the 0.5 that we normally see. Concerning numbers with an unknown cause, Reynolds says it's common for water to lose chlorine in the transfer process, but not this much. But they don't want to take any chances risking public health and request Colleen customers to be engaged. It's more important for me in the city of Colleen to get this right than to get it fast. And we're going to take the necessary time we need to make sure that that happens. So when we do get lift that notice, everybody can be assured that we won't be going back into a boil water notice for the same thing in, in, in the future. I did ask Reynolds if not sanitizing the tank could be playing into any of the current issues. He said it doesn't seem to be so, but it would be premature to say. He also mentioned that weather and low usage could also be playing a little bit of a role. This is a developing story. Stick with 6 News for the absolute latest. Reporting live in Colleen, Bailey Bates, 6 News. All right, Bailey, thanks for staying on top of that all day.